right now, we're taking a look back on some of our finer moments here at Extended Play. Now, for some, change is scary, but we've always found it to be a lot of fun. That's why we went and hung out with the team behind Silent Hill 2. In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2 is one of the most terrifying games ever made. How does one create such a masterpiece of horror? We venture to Konami headquarters, 2x4s and flashlights in hand, to find out. In terms of art, you know, of course uh, we uh, uh, took uh, Jacob's father as a reference and David French and uh, David Cronenberg. I think a lot of the horror that goes into the game is that it's a very real, a very common place. It's somewhere you could go to and visit yourself. It's a familiar background. It's just another town in America. The horror doesn't come from the town itself, but from what people create themselves, what their own feeling is and how they project it onto the town. And then there's the main character, James. He's not exactly the action hero type. We set the uh, main character as a normal person. You know, he's, li he's like a uh, living, uh, you know, neighbor next to uh, our home. Excuse me, I... <gasps> Sorry. Naturally, I, I was uh, just people has uh, you know, you know, lots of uh, emotional incident in their life, and yeah. uh, we plan to uh, make together their life and uh, their you know normal days and then horror. Come on, you know, James. That means uh, and horror suddenly impact uh, like a usual. Silent Hill 2 excels at immersing the player in its creepy little world. So what elements are key in creating that effect? <laughs> hey. One of the common themes running through Silent Hill would be the fog. Fog effect and how it closes in upon you and creates your own world around you. Sound has uh, so much power, you know, in terms of Silent Hill. You know, we, we decided to uh, use the sound to make you know, people cry and make, make uh, their emotions. Laura? Okay, I guess I won't open it. The first concept of uh, Silent Hill is to stimulate humans more primitive instinct. What we've gone out to really try to do, to create a scary image. I mean, we don't want to just jump out of closet and say, boo, and scare you. It was to have that subtle feeling of something's wrong. I don't want to know what's around the corner, but I'm kind of compelled to. It's out of morbid fascination to see what's around that corner. Nine out of ten times, there's nothing going to be there. But you've already built up that tension in yourself so much that you're afraid to look around that corner. People feel something about, uh, you know, old things, even though it's, uh, you know, house or furniture in a, in a door. Whatever has a history, people, you know, put something, his emotion in it. Finding that kind of thing is our job. A job the folks at Konami are clearly very good at. So what scares Sato-san? Yeah, every time I'm, I'm scared of a budget, the deadline. Oh, deadline is uh, just, uh, you know, in two weeks. Perhaps Silent Hill 3 will feature the unspeakable horror of sleeping in a cubicle. I'm here Any final James. thoughts for the players out there? Silent Hill 2 is about the experience. The players, I think that they want to uh, feel fear, feel uh, scary. I think uh, they will be uh, satisfied.